ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids across this beautiful empire of ours. We have kind of a first today. We're kind of doing a little bit of a mini live stream slash video together here live with you guys because yesterday we did a conquest rush and with the worst change that have been added on top of conquest you can't quite speed run conquest in a single day so you kind of need two solid days but we're here and i figured since we couldn't get it in at the end of yesterday's live stream we're gonna do this part live together today but i also want a short form video for those that just want to see malgus and not a seven hour stream we're going to try to do the best of both worlds. So everyone in the Kyber Club, say hi. Say hi so we all know that you're alive here before we hop right into Darth Malgus. I am very excited about him. Now, we are going to only have Sector 5 initial boss gameplay testing. However, it, with past experiences, usually we get a, a somewhat decent idea of how characters. Maul was fantastic, and here they come on in. Boba Fett's sign of Django it was kind of mad and, you know, it kind of matched how he came out at the end of the day. How are we doing, everyone? Thank you for coming by for this kind of first mini VOD live stream video, short form, whatever you want to call it. Let's get on right into it here. Let's not keep you in suspense any longer. I am very excited to try this out. This character is one I'm very excited eh, more so than Boba Fett. And definitely it's been a while since I've been this pumped. But I've heard there's apparently a, like a slight Easter egg, maybe, maybe hint for what's to come. And a spoiler alert, I think I also heard that we actually play as Darth Malgus. So why don't we go ahead and hop into it and I, let's see what, what, are, what are our feats here. Let's try to do the feats. Emperor Palpatine, Darth Talon surviving. All right, so how about we do this? We're gonna go ahead, let's do this. Put our pop mobile in here. I have not tried this out yet. This is my first time going into it with you guys. So we're kind of going straight with a live reaction here. What other characters do we wanna throw in here? Uh, let's get some Sith folks in here. Why don't we bring it, how about this? Since there's no Malik on that team, I suppose we could do a full Sith team of sorts. I have no idea how gnarly this guy is going to be if we do fight him. But if I, what I hear is true, it sounds like we also might be using him. So, all right, how about we do it? Jack Black 199. Kind of weird reading donos when I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> it's kind of a first, but I like this kind of format. I pay for YouTube premium, so I'll take both. There we go. And then Spurger, $10. Glad to see you today. Great Apple. I hope you had a fantastic week. I hope so too, man. I'm ready to get this party rolling because we're here 25-8. And why don't we on that? No, let's start the weekend off by getting a little bit of Darth Malgus action. I'm surprised I haven't said Malik yet in this video. All right, there she blows. I was told that we were supposed to use him. Uh, all right, well, let's just go for him. The Emperor is dead. Long live the Empire. Oh, sorry, wrong line. Long live the new Emperor. Now, if I'm correct, uh, for all my Soltar fanatics, I think that's referencing Darth Vitiate. Isn't that correct? Huh, I wonder if we ever see them come to Galaxies. I mean, um, Hey, we got Malgus now. I wasn't expecting Malgus anytime soon. Yeah, is the False Emperor? Okay, very excited to see this vision. That's refer That's referencing you, Yachter. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go for it. All right, so I have, oh boy. All right, yeah, I probably should have brought a pre-taunting take in. Oh, holy, what the, what just happened? Whoa, okay. Um... Oh, well, we're not getting the Dark Talon surviving feat. Holy cow. Uh, looks like we got a recycled background, unfortunately. I wish we had something a bit more original. Yeah, this is uh, the SOKR rate ultimate event right here. Oh, well, let's go on into it. All right. Now, we have some pretty gnarly data discs, so I suspect we're going to get through these guys fast. Okay, what is uh, slow, bro? Slow, okay, what the heck is going on here? Let's read this. We have returned. So that's the we have returned effect. No, I want to see Malgus, not Revan. There we go. All right, we got Taunt Taunt. We have returned 5% critical damage, 5% offense per stacks. I guess uh, that's going to be the new effect that they have right there. Uh, now, if I recall correctly, I don't think per do percent base damage do anything. Let's see. No, it doesn't do anything. Yes. Okay. Well, um, boy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yeah, I don't know how many want to go about this. Let's see, maybe get another fear going. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to run into a problem since thermal detonators and damage over times aren't going to do much here. Yeah, let's see what we're gonna ho hope we can run a Terminator train around him. Now, keep in mind, Malgus is able to resist like a ton of stuff. No healing immunity, nothing of that sort. But one thing I did notice in the kit, Shock might be a weakness. And they can't get health gain when they got, th got that going on. All right, I am worried that I'm actually not gonna be able to get through this guy. Holy cow, this guy is hella durable. Get some more fear. Unfortunately, it looks like we didn't get any fear on Malgus here. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and see if we can try it. There we go. And I also keep my, I believe the modifier for this has some crazy stat boost. So he might be, I mean, he's gonna be a super durable character. Crazy amounts of health and protection. But it seems like it's also being mega amplified in this event as well. I'll show you again in a second here. Holy cow, come on. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Come on, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get a Terminator train rolling. We're gonna keep the shotgun because I think that's gonna be helpful in trying to stop him from getting health back. Come on, let's go, come on, there we go. Get some fear, very nice. Get some Isolati, give it, I don't know, give it back to, over to Revan. All right, let's just keep doing bases, keeping the shotgun. This doesn't do anything up against them. Yeah, unfortunately, all the other characters, they died off by the damage over time and thermal detonators that we have for the Conquest data disc. All right, he's not putting out a ton of damage. He's supposed to be a tank, so I'm not expecting crazy damage, but the durability is definitely there. Let's see. Mm-hmm, keep pushing, almost there, almost there. Oh, see, look, yeah, that, that shock is gonna be critical. I know he resists healing many, but shock is kind of the next best thing that we can throw down. All right, not super difficult, but a few things. One, they didn't have Malik. I don't think this is gonna be the ideal Sith Empire team right here down the road. Ooh, this is different. Normally, oh, there's another battle. Ah, uh, maybe, ah, uh, <laughs> there it is. At the start of the battle, summon Darth Malgus as the allied slot is available. All right. So you guys, whoever got there before me, you weren't lying about that. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so we got a pretty easy uh, first order team. Actually, huh, this is kind of funny. Uh, there's been a lot of bugs in Galaxy of Heroes lately. Even in this Conquest God has a couple of bugs. Granted, I have been having fun with the bosses and stuff like that. It's been a unique Conquest experience. Definitely some bugs nonetheless, but uh, 15 energy. Normally it's 20. Yeah, we're going to do full Sith Empire. I want to get a better idea of how this works. And unfortunately, I think we're going to steamroll over them because of all of our data disks that we have on. You know what, okay. Kyber Club, do you want to do this with zero data disks? Or do you want to go into data disks? I have a feeling we're going to just absolutely pile drive this team here. We're going to bring that. I'll bring in a pre-taunt. Bring in HK. Sure. No data disks? Zero data disks. All right, let's see how this is. I, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go for it. No data disk. We have energy to spare today. Yesterday we ran out of it. Uh, so that's why we're kind of doing this mini live stream here right now. All right, let's get rid of all of our data disks. And we have plenty of energy to go around. I kind of want to get a raw experience with this guy. Oh, this is actually really, really exciting. And I'm guessing we're not going to have Omicrons turned on. So, oh, you want to do no lead too? No lead. He doesn't work with HK. He's Sith Empire though, right? Full Sith. All right, fine. Full Sith. You guys don't want HK 47 and no Darth Revan lead. All right. So here's what we'll do. No HK. I'm pretty sure there's Sith Empire bonuses, right? All right, poor, poor HK. I have to go back and reread the kit. It's going to be unfortunate if he gets kicked out of the party <laughs> at the end of the day. All right, so no lead. Let's go ahead and do that and bring in Sith Marauder. All right. Let's go ahead and give this a little sneak peek. Want to, oh, you want a four mana? Okay, well, I'll run it again for you guys in a second. Or so what we're going to see now is kind of a first. Yeah, there he is right there. Darth Malgus. Uh, we'll see if the Omicrons are going to be turned on. I highly doubt they're going to be. Let's go get some fear going. All right, just throw out some more fear. Now, Malgus, if his lead is active, I'm waiting to get to his turn. We're gonna have some crazy amount of speed. No data disks, no data disks on, but we have, man, this is sector five. This team is supposed to have crazy speed. Let me see, is the lead active? Yeah, the lead is active here. So we're getting, uh, what is it, 10 speed for uh, Sith Empire allies. I uh, have max health plus 10 speed. Uh, Sith Empire allies are immune to terminal reduction. And so right now, what do we have? So we have, technically we're overkill right now. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 extra speed here. And also we're getting 10% max health. So we have 60% max health. So Malik and Malgus, see I separate them. Should be able to do their thing. Get some pretty durable damage. Deal true damage equal to 40% of Malgus's max health. All right, let's find someone that, uh, see we don't want to do that maybe there. Let's go after Hux here. Let's see what this looks like here. Maybe. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, what's this? We got our new status effect right here. Fear. Okay, we know that. Doubt. Here we go. Can't gain bonus turn meter or buffs or recover protection. Dang, look at all these. Again, no data discs on right now. This team is polluted with debuffs. All right, let's just go finish this off right here. I wish we had a more, a more like a, a serious, like General Anakin Skywalk. Uh, maybe not. Maybe at the end of Conquest, you want to be done <laughs> for the day. All right, let's do AOE. All right. Nice hits. All right, get our wild lighting. We have tons of shock on this team. Yeah, this team is just getting 
absolutely steamrolled. I'll go, I'll redo this without uh, without other folks here. All right, what do we have here? Deprived senses, inflict blind and shock. The target was already shocked. Shock all me. So kind of like Basilishan Fallen 2.0, and inflict ability block. Dark Malgus gains taunt, and also Malik will gain taunt if shock gets applied. Here he is, already has taunt up, anyways. Yeah, I, while in Grand Arena, Z buffs inflicted by his ability can't be resistant since they're getting critical chance up. So I guess we'll see if the Omicrons turned up, but I highly doubt they will. So look for critical chance up. And that would mean the Omicrons are turned on. Here we go. All right, we got the shock, no critical chance up. So we're not even seeing the full power of this kit right here. All right, just do some basic action. And yeah, this is, I mean, I wish it, I, I, for testing purposes, really cool we get to see it. I would like to have at least a, 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 an A-ish grade team, I'm not saying throw a Galactic Legend, but it would have been cool to get a bit of a better uh, input on what this team feels like. But hey, I'm not gonna play it. It's the first Conquest, they let you use the Conquest folk. Uh, the unlock here. Deal physical damage to target enemy with 50% chance to attack again. Double the target as Jedi. Malgus gains 20% max up on the second attack. Dang. Until the end of the encounter, these attacks can't be countered or evaded. Sit them for allies gain critical damage up for two turns. So here we go. Basic, we should get that. All right, so basically tank damage, but he, so it, it is, it's a very much so an evolution of Malik. Malik sucks away the health, but this guy can do damage based off itself. So it's almost kind of the inverse where Malik does damage based off the enemy's max health, whereas Malgus, look at me, I'm so proud of myself. I'm separating both of them. Uh, Malgus does damage based off his own max health. So kind of an evolution moving forward. Oh, it just kicks you out. So there's no data disc at the very end that you get to pick up. Well, that's uh, a little unfortunate. I haven't found the ability exhaust. All right, let's roll it again. Let's take out, um, uh, take out the, yeah, so we're going to kind of pretend. So I suspect if we're going to run a full Sith Empire team with Malgus one of these days, I suspect it's going to be probably something like this. The core of what made the previous Sith Empire team, and then Malgus would be in that lead right there. So there we go. We're going to go with the Underman squad. So we run a five. You want to do a Malgus solo? I don't know, can he? I think you have to bring at least one. <laughs> How about this? We'll roll it again. <laughs> we'll do Malik and Malgus to train ourselves to separate them. So here we go. I have a feeling this is going to be the uh, future of the Sith Empire right here. I got to double check. I thought maybe HK could fit in there, but since he has the Sith Empire bonuses. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm curious. Kylo Ren and Mask. Like, for example, this is a weak point of Malik. He can't suck away the life out of Kylo Ren because it's a max health percent uh, base of uh, effect. I have a feeling it's not going to affect Malgus since he's calculating his own health, then applying damage. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, so more or less, it seems like uh, it seems like uh, Kylo Ren uh, Mask is not immune to here. Let's see. I'm, can we keep him alive? Don't kill off Kylo. Yeah, leave him. Leave him be for a second. I'm trying to see if we can try to get a, a sucky suck here. Don't you dare take that out of context. Uh, let's see. Just do just do this for right now. Get an ability block. Here we go. So here, watch this. So check this out. We're gonna go get some shock going, and that should also trigger Malik's taunt. So, er, here we go, shock. There we go. So double taunt situation right there. That's gonna be nasty. Uh, teams that can pull off a double tank are absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I'm gonna kind of play it slow. I kind of want to let Malgus take his toll here. Uh, don't want to kill anyone off. All right, just do some basic, man. We're just absolutely running circles around these guys. I don't think he, I think it's almost impossible to lose this battle. Here we go. So double attacks. That means he increases max health on the basic by what was it, twenty percent? If the tactile scanners are correct, they just throw some of this out. All right, we have two more turns before we get the drain life ability. I'm gonna try my best not to tick anyone off. Yeah, the, man, so many taunts going on again. Double attacks, increasing our max health right there, and we might be able to use the other big ability here in a moment and see how much his last ability will do in terms of damage pushback turn meter yikes all right one more turn let's hold off for a moment all right go easy all right just do a basic over here for right now go eat guys I, yes and there we go let's slow it down all right so he did what was it Sixty-eight thousand damage let's see what he's like after a couple of the basics which increased his max health by 20 percent we've done it twice i think i think that is um oh yeah man triple taunt holy cow yeah triple taunt I think maybe Sith Empire Trooper might be overkill. Maybe you want like Sith Assassin or... Actually, hold on, we gotta double check. What is his lead is? No, you can get Terminator. It's just Terminator Reduction that you're immune to. So here we go, let's see what this happens. And so 81,000, we went from 68,000 to 81,000. And keep in mind, I don't even know if there's mods on this character. We're probably gonna mod him for some serious max health when it comes out. But I just wanna show you what happens here. So earlier on, we did 68,000 of Malgus. Here, we're gonna do like nothing. Yeah, see, 
So that is uh, actually we healed up Kylo Ren on math, oddly enough. So this is one of those situations where it's again, it's very much so an evolution of Malik, and uh, I can definitely tell a forward direction here. And man, triple tank. That's I don't know. You guys think triple tank is overkill? I think it's absolutely overkill. I think double tank with these two guys is more than enough. I think Marauder or Sith Assassin might be the way to go. Or who knows? Maybe this team has so much damage and speed they can pull off a triple tank. That would be. That might, this could be the first team that can pull off a, like a legitimate three tank situation and can put out good damage. All right, for the last battle, how about this? Uh, we're going to go ahead and just do, uh, I probably shouldn't be winning the battle. We're losing stamina. Do I have any stim packs? Here we go. Give them a little bit more. All right, there we go. Let's do a two man. Malik and Malgus. Here we go. I don't think you can do a solo. I think you got to go in and bring at least one person here. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play some more time. Look at that. All right. So here we go. We're going to have the <laughs> battle of the bald heads here. Let's see which one can do better. So that was a 40,000 out get go. Now, keep in mind, you, you're definitely going to want to have Sith Empire. And you notice that was what, only 48,000? That's because we're missing out on all these other Sith Empires that would be juicing up our max health. All right, go ahead and do a shock. All right, let's see. I, I, I said, boy, this team could probably be really nasty. A two team solo for some probably serious teams out there. All right, here we go. Malik can handle that. All right, going over here. Let's get here. Here comes a double taunt. Double taunt situation right there. Go ahead, spam that. Oh man, let's see if we can do a basic over here. Uh, I just kind of want to see. All right, here, let's do this. I'll let them have their fun. Let's see what they can handle. Yeah, so definitely, it's, it's, it's very much like Malik where all the other abilities kind of don't do a lot of damage, but they have just so much control and they have that one ability that could do some pretty good damage. You know, I lied. I want to play this on manual. I don't want to put this on auto. This is way too much fun. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can just get rid of you. So there we go. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing. All right, so let's see. Uh, uh, hey, you go for him. Do it, do it, do it. There we go. Let's give me this. All right, so no double ta uh, attack right there. Give me a nice stun. He's gone. All right. Here we go. Another double taunt. Beautiful. All right, come on. Keep counterattacking. That's fine. Yeah, come on. Keep hitting yourself. Yeah, keep doing it. Do it again. Do it again. Come on. Yeah, it's Come on, you want to do it? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. All right, you know, I'm just going to keep going after Hux. I want him to keep hitting me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hux is going to try to say no. Let Phasma do it. All right, let's see how much damage we're going to do now. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to have some Sith Empire guys there. On the other attempts when we had more people, we were doing some pretty good damage. All right, I think we can here do it. This is a fun ability. Man, that's... And keep on, no Omicrons um, on this guy. Yeah, so here's, so based off Conquest, again, we don't get a full opinion on Conquest, but just from past experience, Maul, we had a very good idea how he's gonna operate. He turned out to be very good. Boba Fett, kind of a pushover, and I was kind of nice. I was like, okay, maybe we have to wait till we get him. It's kind of like that. Boba Fett outside of the Omicron's territory is kind of a pushover, but here, uh, man. <laughs> oh, you wanna, okay, fine. You wanna do a Malgus solo completely, all right. We'll do one more. How long is the stream rolling? All right, eight minutes. We're going to do one more battle. This is a very weird stream or the stream slash short video. I tried to pick the best of both worlds. So people that just want to see Malgus, they can just see Malgus, not a full long stream. And people that want me to do it live, and since we couldn't have enough energy the other day, uh, kind of getting a two for one special here. All right, send them on in. Look at, look at, look at uh, Malik, uh, Malgus. Take this out. This was definitely worth the stream, man. This is a lot of fun. This is, I hope, see, I... Listen, guys, I'm fair when I'm fair. I call them out when I call them out and they 100% deserve it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I, I got a little cocky there. I thought maybe he'd be able to solo that. Probably, hmm, this might be one of those characters that, huh, this might be one of those characters, unlike Malik, that is extremely plug and play. This might be one of those characters that might just be Sith Empire and that's it. Without all those Sith Empire additional bonuses. Oh. It could definitely get a little nasty. All right, we'll do one more. What do you guys want to see? Oh, I got Synergy reaching out. Malgus and Talon. All right, Malgus and Talon 2v5. Okay, let's do that. I like that. Synergy threw that in here. So, all right, so some Sith in here and let's ski. Talon, 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 where you are. There you go. Get on in there. Have a little bit of fun. All right, Palpley, I, I want to try this. Yeah, I think you definitely need that. Yeah, you need the crew, it seems like. I don't, like, Malik can solo a lot of stuff. I don't know if that's the design intention. Like, see, look, we're not going to get, like, any... Yeah, it, it, it's literally a halved for the most part here. And then all that it takes is one. Here we go. So Talon should be able to save him in case they do kill him off. Hold on, let's see. Um, Give me that. There we go. Get the shock. There we go. So that hopefully doesn't taunt on us. Or, there we go. 
Mm. Oh, Talon didn't even do anything. Uh, I guess maybe her bonuses only affect whoever's in the leadership slot here. So this is kind of an interesting predicament. Uh, it's going to be a solid character for Sith Empire, at least in Grand Arena, bringing them to higher speeds, higher durability, higher damage output. But I don't think he's going to be like a one man. Like here, I just uh, uh, let uh, hmm. I don't know if we, I, I like I kind of just do a Malik soul here, take out Malgus. But here, just one more time. I have a feeling that pretty much I think Malik this is just going to show the difference in terms of standalone plug and play viability and keep in mind malik is the king of anti-turn meter uh or for sith lords at least they might have tuned hux team to ensure malgus the solo does not work maybe that's what synergy says all right let's be our last battle here so we keep the stream slash video a little bit short so we're gonna let oh that's not what i wanted to do oh well sorry buddy you're gonna get uh, this it's, that's unfortunate oh holy oh shit! There we go. That's damage I think we're going to be expecting right there. I have a feeling that's super tuned and with Relic 9 being crazy good on tanks, like I have no uh, idea how much of a Relic this guy has right here. That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting juicy damage like that one-shotting Malik <laughs> straight out the gate. Holy cow. Um, I don't even think we're seeing the full power of him. I'm already kind of impressed. And I can see with Relic 9 being huge boost, for tanks and then modding him for health protection whatever we're most likely health i'm guessing since this is all based off max health i suspect look like um oh he didn't do the other ability first kind of interesting maybe he's programmed to do a couple basics first here hold on i want to show i want to show i want to show i want to show come on get on in here all right let's see okay all right so here we go so see he does nothing against kylo and a mask let's see how much malgus can do uh put on one x yeah i don't even think this 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 uh borrowed version i don't think that's I don't think that's going to be the full picture. I think we're going to get some much bigger damage out of there. It says Relic 8 on him. Does it say? I don't see. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to hold on. Does it show Relic 8? Not here. Maybe the other battle. But I'm talking about the one that we have. This doesn't feel like a Relic 9 for sure. So uh, given it, I think we're going to have a lot of fun opportunities with this guy. All right. Since this isn't quite 100% of a video, I have to kind of make sure I keep up with the chat here uh, before we wrap up here. Jacob Jobin. But the fight always pray for Satel and to be the next Conquest character as Maul was to Ahsoka. Mm. I, you know, I wasn't sure if we're going to get more older public stuff, but the more I look at it and the more they kind of talk about some more older public stuff coming for Star Wars Celebration at the Galaxy of Heroes desk, makes me believe there might be a chance. This has been, so it's been a weird couple months in terms of character cadence. I would love to see that. So, Jacob Job, but I don't think you might be too far off the beaten path here. Then we have Juan Sanchez, 49. What do you think of the Sector 2 final boss cheese? Yeah, with the C3PO. Yeah, if you do C3PO with, uh, I think it was Treya, Cyan, Nihilus, you instantly win here. Right, I gotta keep, I gotta keep, I gotta keep it short like a video so people don't have to watch a 10 hour stream. This is supposed to be a video. Here, let's, there we go. I'll show you guys. In case you guys don't know, it's a very good pro tip if you're trying to max out your cheese. Uh, there's, I mean, it's kind of to be expected. There's a lot of bugs in Galaxy Heroes right now. Uh, definitely a couple bugs here. One of them being this event feat right here. Where is it at? It doesn't say they need to survive, but it's for some reason, Darth Nas and Cyan, they need to survive in order to count. We tested out yesterday in live stream. It's a bit unfortunate. It's bugged out or it's miscoded or miswritten. We don't know. No quality assurance. But this, uh, apparently, not this one. Yes, this one right here. If you want to do the no lead, it helps out the no lead global feat. Helps out the dark sign and Nihilus feet, and it also helps with the underdog feet here. So here, I'll go ahead and show it real quick. Uh, and then this will be the last thing. It's a little pro tip here to try to max out again. I'm hoping as many people as possible can get these guys. So here's the thing. With this weird, it's a fun, it's a fun little battle when it works. But with this battle right here, when the leader dies, the battle ends. That kind of threw me off when that happened. That's Sith Empire. Here we go. Let's do this. We're going to do, uh, just throw in... Um, Scion, Treya, and then we'll throw Nihilus. You're underdogging. C-3PO is going to leave the battle because of how the how this thing is coded. And I, if I'm if I'm right, this is the right thing right here. Yes. Yeah, so this is so this is a bug that works in our favor. I'll be surprised how fast they patch this, but they're going to still have Vulture Droid bugs and all the other bugs that are going on in Conquest. So check this out. So we uh, actually I'm going to do a highlight video for our streamers. It was a lot of fun. So we had a lot of fun narrating this. But here we go. And you win. C-3PO leaves the battle. And there you go. So that helps you out with the Cyan and Nihilus thing. So they survive, even though the feat doesn't say they need to survive. You, you would get the underdog win, which I already did that yesterday. And on top of that, I think it works now. So we were at, there we go. We were at uh, three and now we got the four. So little pro tip, trying to, that's several feats in one. Use that to milk your no leader feat. 
that you have up here. I already knocked it out. Uh, where is it? I've broken my chains. That's going to knock that out for you. That's going to help you out with your dark sign and uh, Nihilus. And that's also going to help you out with uh, the undersized feet in there as well. So here, cheese in your favor. I would recommend milking that until the inevitably patch it because, you know, they don't like bugs that work in the player's favor. All right, we're going to just wrap up the few super chats and we're going to dip out of here so I can keep the video nice and short for those that just wanted to see the Malgus. And I'm really excited, right? Definitely think we're going to get a, a good use out of him. Uh, just like Maul a couple months ago when he came out. Uh, Ghost Rider just got her thoughts on him so far. It's going to boost the Sith Empire to big heights. I don't know if he's going to be a standalone solo plug and play like Malik. Time will tell. I think he's really going to be the leader for Sith Empire contained in that faction. That's not bad. Sith Empire is good. They just need a boost to make him a bit more deadly. And I think this is what you're going to need right here. Uh, we got Juan Chatterbox at 20. I'm curious if you thought on how CG could make Data Crowns good on release. We'll talk about that in a separate video. I'm going to do a little news roundup this weekend. And uh, <laughs> it, I don't want to get into it right now. Keeping videos in the, within their own topic. We'll talk about that this weekend, I promise you. Actually, I'm going to record the video right now with EP Gains. And do you think it will affect the player base overall? We'll definitely talk about that this weekend. Don't you worry. I have a lot of thoughts on it. They've done it before in the past for free, FYI. Now they want to monetize it in case you weren't in the game in 2019-18. Um, BRXO, welcome to the Kaiba VIP program. Uh, I'm B Ed with the two dollars. Sean, next in line to be released. Uh, you're among many that are hoping I don't think it's um, too out of line. I mean, it looks like they're not doing Kenobi stuff, so I think it's very well possible. Subbering, what is it, 10-year anniversary of Swotor? Relic 9 is going to be bonkers. I 1,000% Patrick Eaton. This is only Relic 8 here. I don't know what they lent us in here. I'm guessing maybe Relic 8, but it definitely was not the same as that one. That thing had 175,000 right out the get-go. Man, it's almost like a turn one instant kill if you think about it. Malgus just jumps in, gets the kill with 175. It could be a turn one instant kill character. Yikes. That could be nasty. Tanner J, if I dollars would not their Lord Trash lead to turning Malgus' protection to health, increases power. Hard to say. It seems like his power is really tied to Sith Empire units and Lord Vader nor Nihilus are Sith Empire. Who knows? We got a lot of stuff we could be testing out. When he does come out officially, we're going to get some crazy high health. I'm definitely saving a Relic Knight for when he comes out, which is going to be about mid-June when we should unlock him. And then Cameron Richardson at the 799 Australian Buckaroos from down under. Thank you so much for the generosity. And thank you guys for coming out for this mini stream slash video for those that just want to see Malgus. I don't know, maybe we might do more like short stream format. I love being with you guys in a live stream format. It's cool seeing you guys get excited with me, giving me ideas, saying, hey, try this or that. So who knows, maybe if the time is right for certain uh, items, maybe we could do some more live stream reaction and stuff like that. So this is my shortest stream of all time. So I uh, kind of odd, but leave a like. Even though it's only been 28 minutes, so comment down below, subscribe. Let me know if you're having fun, if you're looking forward to Malgus. Uh, definitely a bit more excited, and I think we have a lot more viability. Then Boba Fett sign of Django, so time will tell. I'm also biased towards Grandarin. I just got to put that out there, and Sith are kind of cool. Not going to lie. All right, guys, I'll check you out later. And always remember, until we meet again, that it's great to be in the Empire today. <laughs>